Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I last uploaded and uh, we are currently in the 3.2 updates. I just came back home from a little retreat somewhere Trainee for around 3 Good days morning. and 2 nights. It was wonderful. Uh, more more about that later. So currently, as you guys all know, the I long hype character that we've all seen on those videos or have experienced it ourselves or maybe takes a couple of selfies with them or the more a little more extreme case would be just like me record the whole thing I'm not sure everyone's gonna do that but today we will be wishing for Nahida is this passable? oh no it's not it's, not, it's just not loaded yet and to make it special uh, we will wish for her in her own palace. I don't, I don't remember the last time I go to somewhere related to a character to wish for them, right? I remember it was like... Uh, I don't know. I, I don't remember being that, mu that much dedicated apart from just changing my character just to like that's just all about it but this time since we've never been on this palace it would be best for us to just explore a little and try to well familiarize how familiar like familiar familiarize familiarize ourselves with this new region because I haven't explored much like I got homework and stuff it's a really important homework it's a good thing I saved it and now our job is to just enjoy the beauty of this new city it looked like it would be great in real life fortunately uh, this kind of tree I don't think it exists also building all these rocks on a just on a simple tree I don't think the tree would would with, withstand it uh, remembering that the rocks are heavy right so we got to our teleport waypoint and our next job is just to well go up until we find the palace a palace should be the highest place right and I think we arrived it's great um, let's get a little closer I don't know let's take a selfie a, a quick one before we wish because um, we're we're gonna we'll be revisiting this place again when I continue the Arkham quest I haven't finished that my friend advised me to just don't go too fast on Arkham quest because it end in a hangover as they say so I waited a while until I got into the 3.2 update I took a photo let's read a couple of mails so as you can see there are a couple of mails that I haven't read yet this is a new one and there are that one which I cannot claim because I am currently full of that thing I forgot the name but uh, somehow I'm always full of those stuff lately I'm not really happy with that I mean I've seen people that are actually lacking those type of items but for me I just had too much of them maybe it's just because of my habit force of habit of just never upgrading anything I really don't know why I can't see that as a bad habit though, but uh, in the end, uh, it could be a bad habit, I don't know. I don't have any weapon over level 70, uh, yeah. So, as per usual, and, uh, but this time, unlike in the 2.4 update, we will not be using that uh, sophisticated gem or anything. I don't, I'm not keen on remember name, remembering names, because I might as well use it to get a good weapon. I might doesn't mean 
that I would. Uh, it, I don't think for a free to play it's very much worth it. Okay, he sacrificed the sword. I don't even remember the web which weapon I've got, like the four star ones. But uh, points are. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be using it very wisely. Uh, only if I find a weapon that is worth it am I gonna spend that. And Yoimi is back here again after being paired with previously Ayaka and Kazuha, which ended up in people preferring her unfortunately less than the other character that actually is also being announced. Uh, my Bennett is... I just got Bennett there. And my Bennett is currently... At least I got the first constellation of Bennett, so the next constellations are gonna be just uh, a little improvements right in there. Uh, I don't really think I would need that much improvement after our first constellations. Especially on the disastrous last constellations of Bennett. If you all know about that, then you're a great player. About Noelle though, I've long since not really used her. Uh, and even though I got strongly, I don't really use any of both of them. Since I just got a reliable healer. A reliable healer uh, I really uh, is for me a, 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 a better choice than a shield because in co-op you can't share shield but you can share healings and that is what I pay attention to the most especially when you when you are playing together in something that you cannot do yourself for example I don't have a good shield so, even to this day, I co-op on Ashraha. Can I solo Ashraha? Yes, can I solo Ashraha without anyone dying? Now that's a good question. I'm honest, no. I would have like at least one people die after defeating Ashraha. And that's okay. Sometimes you got a little something that you can't defeat. Yeah. But you're still... But you're still a good player. Sometimes you just need a little help on something. It's okay. It's always okay. And uh, I even forgot how many times like I've wished. I don't know. It's been so long. Gold. We got gold. And okay, okay. Just for a split second. For a split second, I thought that was right and Shogun. I thought it was right and Shogun. I somehow thought it was her. It looked the same though, yeah, I, I cannot deny that, it looked the same. I thought it was Raiden Shogun somehow, like, it, she's not here, but... That was random, that was a random thought. Oh uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Whatever, so, like... What? I mean, previously, uh, I've lost multiple times, I mean the 50-50s, as uh, you guys would like to call it. Uh, previously I got Zhongli and now I got Nahida. <laughs> that was unexpected. Nice. Uh, for some information, I haven't done the Aranara quest yet. Why? Because I that is for backups. When I didn't get her, I would play the Aranara quest. And now I can still play the Aranara quest whenever I want a character. Once. Okay, I just pressed, I forgot, I haven't read through heavens. Battle Pass. <sighs> this From is a disaster, I'm not gonna record it. Air. Okay, skip button. Nice, this, I just saw the skip. <coughs> okay, sorry. I saw the skip button. This is nothing useful for a free-to-play. Okay, whatever, skip. This is gonna claim everything. Let's see how far we got through. <sighs> Let's go. Uh, also, by the way, for the Abyssal Star, I forgot that the battle pass wasn't there yet, so I got all the uh, 10 plus 7 plus okay. all the wait, how how many did I got? Usual. 
Is it like 19? I guess it was like 19 stars. Plus one from previously. I mean previous. Let's just call it period because it's like every half month or that. And nice, we're actually... Falling, I mean, we're actually giving Noelle her full constellation, which is actually very good if you are using her for main DPS. And yeah, but unfortunately, I am no longer doing that, and her constellation came just a little too late. No, not a little, it's a lot because I got Kokomi in the 2.5 update which I think was like, let me count. I actually counted and it was six updates away. If my count, if my calculations were correct. And I also got some new stuff such as this. Uh, what is it called? Uh, it's like a card, post name card. It's name card or that. That was a unusually short description for a name card. Usually characters have a long description of name cards. And this is a new character I got. I'm not gonna give her any artifacts like I did previously with some with some characters. That's gonna be taking a long time. Also, she would probably need a new artifact set that I of course than half yet, because I don't find the time to farm new artifacts since I never really got new characters. But, at this point, the new characters from Sumeru, or in local language here, they call it Sumeru. I got all of the characters that are, that you can possibly get from that region, all of them, with the exception of Dignari. Was that the ah? Was that the ah? I mean, was that a soft G or a ah? Because I'm probably confused. Is this is it Tirnari or Tirnari? I'm not going to. Uh, <laughs> I'm probably not going to pronounce it right. And the other five star Nilo, because I think those are the only characters from Sumeru that are releasing. Yeah, wait, wait. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, that guy was, was it? Sino. 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 Wait. Uh, was it pronounced like the Egyptian way? It's like Sino. Like do uh, okay Arabic half Y, but it's not a foul. It's. It doesn't act like a foul. It like the name would, would be, nice. be weird if. Maybe it's an anglicized Arabic name. I don't know, but uh, my guess is uh, it's either an anglicized Arabic name or they try to sort of like transcribe the pictograph, Egyptian's hieroglyphs. I'm guessing it would be uh, Zino. And uh, okay, since we got every single one of the characters, now we can make a team full of Archons. And my weapon choice for Nahida may not be the may not be exactly a great or a suitable one since she's a new character, but to to select a proper weapon for a character you must read through talent. Yes, I have read through the talents, but I may get something missed here. And because We've successfully got what we wanted today. We will do something that I forgot to do a year and some months ago. After I got another Archon. Yeah. When I got Raiden Shogun, I already know that she cannot cook yet on the video of me wishing which, you, which is still searchable today in my channel and it's still up today, you can search for it though there's no... My, though my voice is not there I'm still using computer with terrible FPS I did not try to see if she can cook which is not very good especially if you want to find out if 
something is true or not. But in the end, it's true. She cannot cook. But today, we're approaching this a little differently. Now, the fact that... Uh, okay, you cannot do that. Okay. Maybe you can just farm and talk to special peoples. You're not going to be able to talk to people in here, right? From a developer's perspective, you're not going to be able to talk to anyone through that lens anywhere outside Sumeru, because that would be a lot of coding. And in fact, even if you are in Sumeru, you would still be expecting only specific amounts of people, or else the developers would have code special... Oh, no, no, wait. maybe they just... Maybe they don't put special conversation or, like, thoughts inside people, but you're just having conversation with them from far away. That would be very weird, like... I don't, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not sure if it's... I'm not sure it would... It will work with, like, traders. I'm not sure it would work. Realm is truly like, beginning that to way, because that would be the strangest be way that this thing can operate. Uh, but I'm, I haven't tried that, so maybe for you guys that have tried to have tried using it to people in Sumeru, you guys can leave if in the comment, leave something in the comment below, like how it, how does it feel, or who me. can you interact it with? Because I'm really sure not everyone, even in Sumeru, can talk to you through that. And by the way, let's see how many characters here have got to friendship level 10. Not much, I guess. By the way, I got... <coughs> by the way, I got all my Archons on this Realm teapot. Is truly beginning to thrive. Time to end our last one. But no, seriously, I'm not going to... I'm not going to keep all my Archons some, because some of them have reached like friendship level 10. But today my point is just to place Nahida somewhere else in this teapot. By replacing the ones that have already got full friendship EXP. Uh, is her head supposed to be that tilted normally or is she just uh, looking at something around? I don't know, but uh, that's great, actually. <laughs> I actually don't remember how long has it been since the last time like I updated this. So uh, let's currently go to the bedroom. Oh, that's the wrong one. It's it's the lab. So uh, currently go to the bedroom and replace Raiden Shogun because we see her every day. She's in my team and my only upgraded Archon. So let's finally put her to rest after the long time, maybe it's been an over a year, right? It's finally, let's finally replace her with Nahida. I'm searching anywhere though. Okay, it's right, it's right there. That would be nice. Save changes, okay. And let's see. Okay, that's a nice wave. Okay, I, I don't actually know characters can do that inside. Uh, that, that, that's actually that's actually a nice detail. I liked it. I am currently searching for a good angle to have a conversation right now. I'm here. Do you have a new story for me? I'll trade you some candied Ashalinak nuts. I made them myself. <laughs> I think the answer to that should be pretty obvious. You should be able to tell from just one look. Like when you peer into a crystal clear lake and you can see all the fish swimming around inside of it. It's very pleasant here. Even the wind brushing against my toes feels soft and gentle. So, of course, I love it! As much
much as a little bird might love exploring the forests and mountains, tasting new and different fruits every day. After a long flight, it still needs a place to land and rest its weary wings. So I'm glad that I can roost here in your nest for a while. Also, it's much more spacious here than a birdcage. Thank you for being so kind. I know that you mean it. And I'll make the most of my stay here. I'm here! Do you have a new story for me? I'll trade you some candied Ajalinok nuts. I made them myself. <sighs> Today, sunrise is the same splendid color as the breast feathers of a dusk bird. I'm really curious to find out what the first thing you'll do today is. Okay, so uh, I remember a video talking about how a character's voice line in Teapot will be different if you haven't played the Arkham Quest yet. And it seems like it didn't apply to Nahida. I've seen it. It's like Red and Shogun. If you haven't even completed or go to Inazuma and somehow you got her, put her in a teapot, her name would be displayed as. Uh, what was that again? I think it's just Red and Shogun, I guess. And not only that, I think it. She would also talk about some nonsense, I guess. Maybe because if she actually talked like the other characters, maybe she would talk about a some sort of topics and there would be some sort of references or links that have connections with something happening in the region and that would kind of like gave some players some spoilers and it would be great so yeah I kind of see why they would try to do that I see everything. and currently let's see if I can do that with docs and unfortunately you can't so yeah that's it guys for today's video and her head's still tilted and I think that's it for today's video and I'm gonna see you on our next video okay wait let me actually just check uh, the weapon oh I gave her a tag okay whatever uh, okay what okay is that a swing? That's awesome. I haven't seen that in any characters yet. Is that really her idle animation? I can possibly describe this as one of the greatest animations I've seen on the characters. Um, I don't think it's an animation. It's just... I think it just stays until like you move the characters or something. So you can like do this forever I guess. Like somehow out in the wild, you can just do this. I don't know, it's kind of cool. I've never seen this in any characters. Hey guys, welcome back again to my channel. And do you know what update it is? It's the 3.1 update. It's now closer to the game, to the game's second anniversary. Our last anniversary was done in one update after a new re region that was 2.1. Now it's 3.1, exactly also one update after a new regions got released. And I can't wait to get the fates that they will offer in this update because exactly like a year ago on the anniversary it was also Ayaka's birthday that was my first time upgrading her and she did a lot of improvements to my team but back then I didn't have like a hydro uh, let's just say uh, someone that applies hydro in the team which unfortunately 
mean that I could not freeze, which means that I am literally using a melt Ayaka, not very optimal. And yes, it was not a good time. I still remember like a year ago, I recorded the event that was there. I think it was like Moonlight Merriment or something like that. Something, something goes like you have to find something. It was like the green jade and then the chest in Liyue across some locations and then you would also go cooking with Ke Qing and Xiangming I don't really know it's uh, I would just say it's a wonderful event the decorations and the recipes that you get after completing it I would say it's one of the best in the game not gonna lie and I supposed to have the recordings of that event but unfortunately at that time my recorder crashed which is why you cannot find the full recordings on my channel right now hey guys welcome back again to our series of mini wish where I just wish in the banner that I don't really want the five stars off and I particularly chose this banner in the new 3.1 update because uh, the two Four star characters that are featured here, I still don't have them. And that one being Kuki Shinobu. I really don't like her design somehow. Ever since her release, I really don't like her. That's all. But uh, I've seen my brother using her as a support for her Ito since it came with his banner. But I don't see a use for her currently on my team and from what I heard from him she relies on elemental mastery or something. I don't know. So I'm kind of giving her random artifacts. I don't really care to be honest. She's a healer. I'm just gonna give her this. Whatever. I just don't know. And uh, Interestingly, I still don't have Goro, and that might be just because I never wished on Ito's banner. Uh, I mean, he is one of the best while also maintaining low investment in the game. Like, you don't really need to invest that much, but he gives you a great number in return. Uh, but unfortunately, her, his playstyle is mono geo at most, uh, which which I really don't like. I really like playing with elements, so mono geo is against my playstyle, which is why even though he is low with investment and worth it for free to play players, since since he relies on defense. I still don't want to get him as time being. I don't still I still don't see his role for my team. Although for the subsequent support, I got Zhongli. Okay, that's ticked. Uh, maybe just Goro and he he A would just fit on my team. But for the long term, the I'm not gonna be using him. So yeah, that's it, so see you later. Okay guys, welcome back again to our mini series of wishing. I've already got almost all the 4 star here except one, and that is Candace. And I really hope that is her. I mean, uh, there's a big chance that it's not gonna be her, right? Uh, but never mind it, that's her. Yep, exactly. Probably, uh, she will probably complete our Sumeru character collections. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, if I 
remember it right I've seen it in a guide or something like that Google Google just recommend me and I read through some of them and it would recommend me to have her built on HP it's like Kokomi I guess uh, I'm not sure if I have that much HP healing uh, it, uh, no I uh, she's not supposed to heal right so uh, yeah it's basically like Zhongli but she doesn't shield she doesn't heal or something like that I don't know uh, just got her I don't know how I should use her but for the time being I'm just gonna give her like uh, maybe I don't know but I'll keep the main stat HP as usual and maybe just gladiators that would be best and uh, yeah just give her straight up HP and <laughs> uh, I guess that's easier to farm uh, she reminds me of Yelan, the also Hydro and also relies on HP previously on the 2 point, 2 point, uh, what was that again? 6, 2.6 update was, wait yeah, that, it's the 2.6 update or is it? no, 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 I don't think so 2 point Eight. Uh, is, wait, is it? The Irodori is like two point six, and then it's two point seven. Yeah, I just remember it right. And the Irodori is like two point six after the Enkanomiya in two point five. So Xiao and Yelan was released. No, was their banner was re released at two point. Seven before Kazuha. So so yeah, that's cor that's correct. I've checked them, and yeah, it took a long time to remember, but I guess that's it, guys. I've completed my four star collection, except Goro, and I'll see you guys later.